So in this week's video, we are doing something different than I originally had intended to put out for my video this week. It's that thing of logically, I know that it's gonna be slow, right? But I cannot help but feel in the moment If you're new, my name is Desiree, mom of three, and the owner and maker behind The Handmade Mom. So in this week's video, we are doing something different than I originally had intended to put out for my video this week. Um, I was going to do in the day of the life video, but this week we are changing to a mompreneur's diaries. This is actually the second time that I'm recording this. I tried to record it last night, and I got through the whole thing, but I just feel like it was all over the place. I so I am gonna try and re-record. Um, I'm in a little bit of a better um, headspace this morning, or really we're in the afternoon now. It's currently 2.15, the kids are napping. Um, so I feel like I'm in a little bit of a better headspace now and maybe I can talk about it a little bit more cohesive. Um, but before we get into like what I wanted to talk to you guys about, we are gonna be continuing to work on the jerseys. This is what I was working on last night. So I'll probably just show you guys the clip of me working last night um, and we're just basically continuing on. So last night I was working on these jerseys, um, putting some text on the front, some text on the back. Let's start with that, get some of that done, and then we will come back and chat. Alright y'all, so let's go ahead and start chatting. Um, I don't know how much longer I have before the kids start waking up, so I wanted to talk to you guys before they woke up. 
Um, but I am going to keep working. I do still need to finish this um, by tomorrow. So there's a lot to do. Um, but no worries. We're going to get it done. <laughs> this is a um, project for my mom um, and a local cheer team here in our area. And I'm doing these. Basically, my mom just gave me all the supplies and I'm putting it together for her. So that is what we are doing. So over the past probably month or so, uh, I have been going through a lot of mental health things um, that are to a point where I've never felt them before. Um, I've always, I always feel like I have kind of like had mental health issues that I just kind of work through and just kind of like, you know, did what I needed to do to cope with it in the moment and then that was it. Um, and then I'd be good and then it would come back and then it would be a cycle again like that. So, but I feel like here recently, like I said, within this last month or so, um, it's been different. It's been hitting a lot harder. It's been, um, a lot more ups and downs. It's putting me in this weird space that I don't really know how to navigate because I've never been here before. Sometimes I'm feeling great. I'm feeling on top of the world. I feel like I can do all the things and I can do everything, um, which those great, those moments are great. But a lot of times, and especially recently, it's been bringing me down um, and I've been feeling very, um, I've just been questioning myself. I've been questioning my worth. I've been questioning my abilities. I've been questioning, you know, everything, just anything and everything from personal life to motherhood to small business and, you know, everything in between. So that's been really, really challenging. That's probably the biggest thing is like, I am just doubting myself so hard right now. I feel like it maybe it's a, it's a combination of quite a few different things that, that have been happening. Um, and like, I just, I don't know. I mean, you guys know I run my small business while I take care of my kids and at times it can be very, very, very difficult. Um, people ask me all the time how I do it. I have no clue. <laughs> I have no clue how I do it. I just do it. And you know, we figure it out as we go. There are times where I'm like, all right, we got this. We're doing it and it's going and we are rocking it, right? And then other times I just, I'm making it by. <laughs> so, I feel like right now we are in a point of it being really difficult with managing the both. So there's different things. Motherhood, Lala's about to be three and she's going through you know, some different changes and emotional feelings and all of that stuff that are you know, age appropriate and are to be expected. Um, so. For me, it is very difficult for me to manage my own emotions to be able to help her manage her own emotions. And I'm finding that it's a lot harder than I was anticipating it to be. We've also been potty training and um, we tried potty training for a weekend and we were like, all right, cool, one weekend, the both of us, we're gonna tag team this, we got this. Um, and it's just taking longer and we both were not anticipating that. We had talked to so many people, we had watched a lot of YouTube videos, things like that, where they talked about, you know, three days and potty train in three days and you'll be good to go. And here we are, and it's been, I don't even know at this point, it's been a very long time that we've been working on potty training and we are finally getting to a point now where we are, um, you know, going better. We are not having as many accidents and we're doing all of the things, right? And like, we're starting to, get to that point where it's a lot more manageable. Another thing, like the twins, they are getting bigger, more active, um, interested in a lot more things. It's not like it was, right? Where the twins, I could leave them in a bouncer in the playroom with us and Lala, I just entertain her, right? Now I'm having to 
juggle entertaining the three of them and they all have different interests right which is great and I, I want to be able to um, help them flourish and help them grow and I want to you know feed into those different interests that they are showing so like right now Cecilia loves loves to just sit down and read books and then Kieran is very very active very very um, all over the place he does not like to sit still and then Lala is kind of like in that middle ground so she likes to sometimes read books and chill by herself other times she's wrestling around with Karen I was used to and I was finally like you know in my groove of you know managing the day-to-day -day, keeping them entertained and doing all the things right um, and now it's changing to be expected it's changing and it it's that transition period is hard um, so there's also that so like there's so many different like little things and and I'm not I'm not complaining about any of it because I know that it's a thing that's gonna happen I knew that these things were gonna come right um, and I wouldn't change them for the world I wouldn't take away any of that but that doesn't make it any easier knowing those things right um, I say this all the time logically I know X but I just can't help but feel why you know like so I hope that made sense then we have our small business side and there's been a lot of struggle there I mentioned actually in the video that was supposed to be out which you guys will see I think I'm just gonna go ahead and push that a week so it'll be out uh, next week I've been thinking about launching and new products and things like that and it is really really difficult I feel like I am struggling to find the products that work for me we are in the summertime um, if you guys run small businesses yourselves especially a product-based business then sometimes you may notice that certain times of the year are a little bit slower um, I've noticed that it is the J months that tend to be a little slower so January June July um, and so we are in June going into July and it is really slow it is really really slow um, and it is it's hard it's hard because then that that in turn makes me question am I even doing the right thing am I um, am I good enough to keep doing this like it, there's just there's so many things that come with um, that come with that like I knew that this was gonna happen and honestly I actually had prepared for this to happen in the sense of like I was like okay summer's coming we're gonna hit the J months it's gonna slow down I don't do markets anymore which is where most of my product moves at um, so I knew that we weren't gonna do markets anymore for a little while and so I was like okay we are going to do this and this and this during the summertime like I just had I had plans and I specifically planned these things for this time frame knowing that the J months were coming up and that the J months were going to be slow right so again it's that thing of logically I know that it's going to be slow right but I cannot help but feel in the moment that I'm not doing a good job I can't do this it's hard to, to think that way, but I literally cannot help it. I do that with everything, anything and everything within my life. <laughs> That's just, for whatever reason, that is just how my brain functions. But, um, so yeah, there's that. Um, I talked about, I don't think I finished my thought on this, but um, I had talked about launching in the video that was originally supposed to be out. And you guys will see that in my next one. But. One of the things that I mentioned was not sure about launching because I've had so many unsuccessful launches back to back to back to back to back, right? Um, you guys have seen two of them here on my channel. I've shared that with you guys, but there's others that I did not share here um, that were also unsuccessful. So it was like again and again and again and again. And it, it gets to a point where you're just like, you're not sure if you should even keep trying. Also, I have the holiday season coming up and I have some big markets planned. I have currently two that are officially scheduled. Christmas Showcase, you guys already know about that one. I did that one. This is the third year I'll be doing it. That has been my biggest market to date. 
but this year I'm actually doing an even bigger market um, the month before showcase. It's a lot, it's a lot of prepping, it's a lot of planning. I've literally been prepping for my market season coming up for months already. Um, getting inventory, building up my stock of things, coming up with new ideas. Like I'm already thinking about Christmas products. I've been focused on that a lot too. Um, and so there's a lot of stress and worry coming from that end. That is just a small bit of the small business stuff. That's that's a small bit of, you know, motherhood thing. I'm actually finally going to talk to somebody. I am going to go to therapy. Um, it, that was something that I've thought about for actually a very, very long time, for years. I never, you know, did more than just think about it. <laughs> Yeah, that's a whole nother, whole nother thing to this. Like, honestly, I'm very nervous for that. Um, but, you know, I just <sighs> talked about this before, you know, in small business stuff, like just going for it and just doing the thing. Um, and I think that's where we're at now with, with this is I just, I just need to go for it. I just need to do it. And see if we can help me out. I'm just in this weird space. I don't feel like I normally do. Um, and I don't like it. <laughs> if you guys follow me over on Instagram, maybe you noticed that I haven't really posted much within this last week or so. Um, and that's because of this. I try to post about you know positivity and encouragement for moms um, and right now I just don't feel like I can truly and authentically post that because I don't really feel that right now for myself you know I don't want to just put it out there because I have to or I need to so that way you know the algorithm does whatever the algorithm does like it no um, so yeah, that's why I haven't posted in a while over on social media. I'm probably gonna see how I'm doing. Like I, I actually, I actually do feel better right now. Um, I do feel less sad. I do feel less, um, down on myself. I do feel more motivated. I do feel more, um, positive with myself right now and so maybe you know throughout the weekend I will keep feeling that and then I can post again next week and be kind of back to a little bit more of my normal self. That's what I want to talk to you guys about. Um, I, I really was not planning to do this. I really was not planning to talk about something like this um, but it's been something that I've been struggling with for a little while now and for some reason I just felt the need to sit down and chat with you guys on this Mompreneur's Diaries. Just know that if you are in a similar boat, just know that I, I see you, you're not alone. This is probably the loneliest that I have felt in a very long time, very long time. So I want you guys to know that you are not alone and that it will be okay and that you are still doing an amazing job. If you were at this point, I really, really appreciate you for sticking with me, for chatting with me. I don't really know what else to say. So we will just go ahead and end the video here. Um, I appreciate you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye y'all.